Hey guys, welcome, welcome back, back to my, my channel. channel. My channel. My channel. My channel. I'm sorry, is it your email? Is it, is it your email? Do you edit the videos? No. Do you come up with the recipes? No. So it's my channel. But I turned the camera on. You did. Okay, so it's our channel. Hey. Today we are, Today we are going to be doing curry recipes. One being an Indian curry, the other one being a Thai curry. We'll also be making a homemade naan. Yes. Because we haven't had naan in so long, yeah. because usually it's not vegan, it's made with butter or milk or something. Uh, so we haven't had naan in a long time, so we're really excited to have naan. That's yeah. it, so let's get started. We're gonna start off with making, what's it called, palak paneer? Try again. Tikka masala. I'm Chana close, masala. no. Palak chut, no. Are you good? No, it was, uh, paneer, no. Dal, dal makni, dal makni. You got it. <laughs> so we're gonna start with a dal makni. It's traditionally made with, sorry, there's like hair on my lip. <laughs> I can't, like it's distracting. Oh, there it is. Anyways, we'll be starting with a dal makni. It's traditionally made with uh, bl black lentils or yura dal, but we don't have that. So we are going to be using regular lentils. Mm, I'm about to sneeze. You want to, I'm, I'm gonna stop talking. <laughs> so we will be doing our dal, which will have green lentils instead of the black lentils. And it usually has red kidney beans, but again, we don't have red kidney beans. All we have is lentils. Um, yeah, so let's get started. So we're gonna use some vegan butter, or if you don't have vegan butter, you can use coconut oil. And we're gonna have three tablespoons of it. The reason why you wanna go heavier on the butter is because the dish is a naturally buttery dish. So don't be afraid, guys. It's gonna be really good. I'm gonna put in one bay leaf. There's a Pokemon called bay leaf, and I always wondered why it was called bay leaf, and now I get it. Does it look like a bay leaf? Well, it has a bay leaf on its head, but I didn't know as a kid what a bay leaf was. And I just thought it was a weird name they made up. You're gonna do one teaspoon of cumin seed, four cloves of garlic. Because I don't have any garlic cloves, I will be using some minced garlic that I got from Costco. We're gonna do one teaspoon of ginger powder. If you have fresh ginger, you can use that as well. Now normally you would be using two, one to two chili peppers or a jalapeno. I don't have either, so I'll just be putting in some crushed red pepper, probably about half a teaspoon. So normally you would add about one small to medium onion, cut it up and saute it with the spices, but because I don't have any onion right now, I'm gonna use some dried onion flakes. And I'm using about two tablespoons of dried onion flakes. You're gonna use one teaspoon of garam masala. If you don't have this, you can use regular curry powder. I love the smell of Indian food. I know, it's so good. You're gonna do half a teaspoon of ground coriander. You can also use coriander seeds. You're gonna put around half a teaspoon of turmeric. And this is optional, but you can put around half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Now we're ready for some crushed tomatoes. You can use diced tomatoes. You're gonna put around one cup. So you can use any kind of beans in this. Obviously, black lentils would be perfect with this, black lentils and red kidney beans, because that's what the traditional dish uses. But because I don't have those ingredients, I'm using canned lentils that I washed and rinsed. Oh my God, that smells amazing. I was hungry, but this is making me even more hungry. My, my mouth is literally watering. We're gonna put about a cup and a half of water. And we're just gonna add a teaspoon of salt to top it off and you're gonna let that cook for about 30 minutes. So you just wanna check on it every so often just to make sure that the lentils don't stick to the bottom. Now that the 30 minutes is up, we're gonna put some coconut cream. You just take the fat part, which is usually the part at the top, about one fourth cup. Not a problem if you only have coconut milk, that's fine too. All right, my turn. 
So, um, I know how to make like five, four, five, I said. <laughs> I know how to make like five things in the kitchen. I've made pizza dough before and I can make cookies and... Cake. Cake, kind of. Bread, pizza. I've never made bread, I've made pizza dough. Anyways, I can make a couple things, um, but she told me how to make this. Uh, she's giving me instructions, and I'm gonna see if I can remember how to do this, um, and she'll be here to guide me as we go. So let's make some naan. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put uh, three, three quarter cups of water in here, and then one teaspoon of these guys. And this is active dry yeast. Yes. <laughs> Not these guys. <laughs> uh, we're gonna take one teaspoon of these guys here. So we're gonna combine that with uh, three quarter cups of hot water. Um, now, there is a specific temperature of water that you're supposed to use, but ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> I just use like really hot water from, from, the, from the sink. From the sink. I gotta get off my finger. <laughs> Okay, if I remember correctly, we're gonna use one teaspoon of sugar. Yeah, I think it's a teaspoon. All right, so we're gonna do one teaspoon of sugar. Um, now you can use brown sugar, cane sugar, maple syrup if you want to, I don't know. This is really just to feed the yeast. So I'm gonna put this aside for a second. So I'm gonna wait for that yeast to start bubbling and when it starts bubbling, bubbling I'm gonna add some yogurt to it, but that'll happen in a second. Right now I'm gonna prepare my dry ingredients. Um, it's gonna be Two cups of flour, okay, two cups of flour. Whoa, okay. <laughs> and we're gonna sift it through this little sifter machine bin so there's no clumps and stuff. If you don't have one of these, I don't think it's gonna ruin the bread, but I have one, so I'm gonna use it. <laughs> you are, are sweating. <laughs> these lights are so hot. I don't understand how you stand in front of them the whole time and not sweat. Next, we're gonna add baking powder. Was it one teaspoon or two teaspoons? It's one teaspoon. So we add one of these. So we're gonna add in some salt now. Is it one teaspoon or two teaspoons? It's one teaspoon. Okay, we add in one teaspoon of salt. Okay, and then we're just gonna whisk this together just to combine it. Let's go check on our yeast. Um, so mine isn't quite yet done. So until it starts bubbling, let's talk about why it bubbles. So what's happening right now is the yeast the sugar that we put in there. So yeast is a bacteria. And so what it's doing, well, it's not a bacteria. Yeast is a fungus. And so what it's doing is it's eating the sugar that we put in there and it's turning that sugar into alcohol and carbon dioxide. And so that carbon dioxide gets released and it starts bubbling. It's actually the, the same reason that you breathe out carbon dioxide is because when you eat food, your body turns it into glucose and carbon dioxide and you breathe out carbon dioxide. Do you feel good about yourself? I do. So now let's wait until this is ready to go. <laughs> I've got two bubbles. It's not ready yet. Okay, so it's starting to bubble a little bit. This process should take about 10 minutes. So we're gonna put the yogurt in now. Here you go. Oh, thank you. So we have unsweetened coconut yogurt. It's by Yoso. So we're gonna put in three tablespoons of uh, vegan yogurt. I think it's coconut yogurt. Yeah, coconut yogurt. If you don't have yogurt, vegan yogurt, you can use coconut cream. Okay, and then we're also gonna add in two tablespoons of olive oil. Then we're gonna add in our dry mixture into here, and then you can either stir it in by hand or use a stand mixer. Um, you don't wanna stir it too much. I uh, just kinda wanna get everything kinda incorporated and, and, and put this over here. He's just gonna go mix it it, with our sand mixer until it's a doughy consistency. Uh, so while that's mixing, while it's in the sand mixer, I'm just gonna clean this surface. So <laughs> when, uh, once it's done uh, doing the thing. Um, <laughs> mixing. Mixing, it should look something like this, right? Looks good? Yeah, it looks just like his tummy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, we're gonna need that for a second. We're, we're gonna need that in a second, not for a second. In a second, so. We're gonna bring back our flour. Make sure you wash your hands, I wash my hands. So we're gonna take some flour, I'm gonna put it on a clean surface. Make sure you also clean the surface. I'm gonna take this guy. All right, so we're gonna knead this a few times. Not too much. If it starts to get sticky, either on your hands or on the counter, just add more flour. Yeah, just knead it a little bit. All right, and so what we're gonna do now 
is we're going to take a container of some sort, like this. Um, and we're going to take some olive oil. Where'd that olive oil go? Yes. We're going to take some olive oil. Just put some in here. Is that good? Yep. Just to kind of coat everything in here. And then, I'm going to put this guy in here. Right, I'm going to twir twirl it a bit. I'm happy with that. Yeah. Okay. You're going to just cover it up. And then you're going to let this sit for like however long it takes to double. Right? It's about an hour to two hours. Yeah. But we have in our oven, we have this little drawer at the bottom that like... Okay, wait, guys. Guys. We didn't know that the compartment underneath your oven the storage compartment underneath the underneath underneath the oven <laughs> like we thought it was for storage so we had been putting all of these pans underneath like do you guys know what i'm talking about like there's the oven and then there's a the part underneath we we thought we we're like oh great it comes with extra storage so we just started putting like pans and stuff in there what did we find out it was actually for? It's a warming drawer so there's a button on the stove that warms it and then it gets warm i guess it's for warming up food, but you can also use it to prove things faster. So you can use it to make this double faster. So, so apparently we're idiots and <laughs> that's what that's for. We found out because we were watching the great Canadian baking show and they were using that like religiously and we were like, wait, and we looked at each other and we were like, wait, what? We're like that's what that's for. <laughs> yeah. So you are glistening. It's so hot under these lights. I don't get it. <laughs> so you can, Put it out for like an hour or two, however long it takes for, for this thing to, to get double its size. Like you want this thing to double in size. Um, we put it in the proving drawer, warming drawer for 45 minutes and then it, it doubled in size. Anyway, so 45 minutes <laughs> took us for this thing to double. However long it takes you yours to double, that's how long it takes to double. I've said double too many times. Yeah, you okay. did. So here's the good news, guys. Here's the good news. We don't have to wait two hours because she made some dough earlier and it's been sitting here, so let's bring that out. It's doubled in size, you can see. I mean, I don't know if you can see, but it's doubled in size. So <laughs> uh, I'm gonna take this out in a second. Uh, so actually, let's just use this flour that we have already here. All right, and then we're gonna take this guy out. I'm gonna cut this into six pieces, roughly. And so that's six pieces. And then, so I'm gonna roll each of these again. Then, you're going to, I'll let her tell you what to do next. And then, you are going to cover it in plastic wrap for 10 minutes. Okay, yes. I didn't forget, I was testing you. Yeah. And, <laughs> the plastic wrap. One. Okay. So, we're gonna let these sit for 10 minutes. Yep. 10, 10, 10 minutes. And then while these are, doing their thing for 10 minutes. Let's make the garlic butter that we're gonna coat them in. Let's do it. Then so we put about a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half of butter, vegan butter, into this uh, bowl. Then we melted it. You can use regular oil, coconut oil, olive oil, or anything like that. Uh, and then into that, we're gonna put uh, garlic and cilantro. Just chopping up some cilantro. So you wanna make sure you chop it very fine. Because this is what you're going to use to spread on top of the naan. Happy with that? Yep. Put that in there. So again, we don't have fresh garlic. So what we do have is from this, from Costco, we got some minced California garlic. Lasts a really long time in the fridge. <laughs> I can't open this. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, one teaspoon? Yeah. Is that good? So you can really use any kind of combination. A lot of people do parsley and garlic. We just want to use cilantro because to me, cilantro complements Indian cuisine really well. We're going to roll out the dough into a non-shape in a second. But while we're doing that, let's put our... Um, what are you trying to say? Frying pan to make it hot. Uh, <laughs> oh, this thing. Ooh. I'm using a cast iron pan here because it's got a nice uh, even distribution of heat and it doesn't uh, lose heat really quickly. Okay, so we're just gonna roll this guy, whoops, into a non shape. You know, we're gonna have small nons. This is gonna be my non size. Yeah, you don't really want them to be too big. I'm happy with that. Okay. This is what we're working with right now. This is actually fun. Listen, as an amateur baker, no, as a beginner baker, 
I'm happy with this. Yeah, they're awesome. So now that we made these, uh, what's next? <laughs> so you're just gonna take these to the cast iron pan or whatever frying pan you're using, and you can just put some water on one side. You're just gonna put it onto the pan, and then as it's frying, you're gonna put your oil, your butter mixture or oil mixture on one side and then flip it over and then leave it for 30 seconds to a minute and butter up the next side and then flip it back over. How do you know when it's done? It'll be a golden brown color on both sides. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Be right back. I'm ready to do this. Yes, it's amazing. Wow. I hope you enjoy the, the video and I hope you, I truly hope you try these because they're amazing. So we're gonna go take these to our TV and start eating. Oh, do you wanna eat now? Can I? Sure. <laughs> like I'm dying to try this naan. <laughs> wow. That's incredible. Yeah, it's really good. You can dip it in the in the curry, Indian curry. Mm. So what were you saying about Netflix and food? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go Netflix and food. <laughs> and, mm, incredible. Wow. Um, yeah, we'll see you next week. Hope you enjoyed these, hope you tried them out. So, out of curiosity, yeah. do you want them to subscribe and leave a comment and like <laughs> the video and ring the bell? Do you, or do you not care about that process of YouTube? <laughs> It would mean a lot to me if you do comment, like, and subscribe. Because it'll make me feel special. It'll make him feel special. Yeah, we're a small channel. We're just trying to make, make fun little foods for you guys to eat. Well, she is. I don't really know food, but um, this is so cool. yeah, it'll help us out if you like, subscribe, share with friends if you want to. I don't know. Amazing. Yeah, up to you. Whatever you want. All right. Anyways, thank you. Milana Bye. out. Surge out, too. And Joey out. Joey. <laughs>